Hey guys, so today we'll be pixelizing the Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, whichever one you have. So to get started, we'll go into the Play Store and download a couple of the apps required. I'll drop the link in the description below for them. So first we're going to start up with the wallpaper app from Google. So you install that app, you do that. Once you do that, we're going to download the Gboard app. The Google Keyboard is a default on the Pixel 2 XL and Pixel 2 phones. And the same goes for the Rootless Pixel Launcher, a new one by Amir that has the Google Now cards. It's really fluid and fast and looks really clean and simple. So we're going to install that. So let's set the Google Play Store aside. We're going to start working on the icons and the themes. So to do this, we're going to go into Wallpapers and Themes. So in Samsung Themes, you want to search for Pixel right here. So you search for Pixel. Once you do that, you're going to go into Themes. It's going to be this result right here, Pixel ISD. You download this, um, this theme. Once you do that, you're going to back out. We're going to go into Icons. Download the pixelized icons as well. And, but since we want all of them round and consistent, we're going to go for the round icons and download. So let's get started by first um, applying these. So we're going to go into themes, view all, click apply. As you can see, this is a really quick process. It's going to reach 100% real quick. And yeah, we're done. And then we got to do the icons. So we're going to go back to Samsung themes. We're going to go into icons, view all, pixelize D, apply. And the same process again, real quick. And once we do this, we're going to go ahead, uh, set up the Gboard first. So we're going to enable the Gboard settings. We're going to go to Gboard. Okay, we're going to select the input method, switch to Gboard. We set the permissions. And then we click done. And we're going to go to theme. We're going to set it to this theme. This is the theme that comes default on all the Pixel phones. You do that, then you guys could set up whatever settings you want to set up, but the default settings are good as is. So we're going to close this up, close up Gboard, close up Samsung themes, and then we're going to be opening, um, we're going to be opening uh, the wallpapers app. So we're just going to allow access, set up the permissions, and we're going to come back right to it once we download the Pixel 2 stuff. So we're gonna now, we're gonna work on the rootless launcher. Since you got it, you have to set a default manually. So you go into settings, go into apps, and then you're just gonna look for the rootless pixel launcher. So we scroll down to R. So you scroll down right here to R. So rootless pixel launcher. So once you do that, you're gonna go to home screen, set it as default. Once you do that, you're gonna go back to the home screen. You can download the Pixel Bridge to have the Google Now cards on, on the right side, or on the left side. So once you do that, install it, allow, real quick process. You go to settings, allow this source. Once you do that, you click install. And yeah, it's a relatively quick process. And it's installed. So we do that. Then we're going to go into the settings. We're going to allow the notification access for this um, launcher. So we're going to go down, rootless pixel launcher, allow. Once you do that, you're going to go into the theme. Uh, I like keeping it transparent because we're going to be doing the live um, earth wallpaper from Google. So, and we're also going to change the icon shape circle to reflect the pixel 2 settings. So once we do that, we're going to go into Google form. And we're going to go to APK Mirror. Once again, I'll have this linked in the description below. You do this, you're going to click Download APK. It's going to take some time. So, so you click OK right here. And then, then it just give it some time. It's going to take some time. It's 163 uh, megabytes. So now that it's completed, you could go ahead and click Open. And install the app. So click Install. It's going to take some time, so give it a minute or two, maybe less. Uh, so the app is installed, so we just click done. That's all you got to do. And okay, we're just going to close out everything right here. So once you do that, you're going to hold this down. You're going to tap and hold, like empty area of the, of the launcher, 
and you go into wallpapers and let's just say I want to go with the live wallpapers I'll do the marvelous marvel and allow and then you set the wallpaper and yeah that's pretty much it but there are some other things you could do such as uh, downloading the downloading the messages app Google messages app I'll show you right now uh, but the thing is the only reason I'm not doing it is because I like the fluidity of the Samsung messages and I think it just works great with the dialer so I'm just gonna leave it as is but if you guys wanted to you could download the messages app and that's pretty much it and one more thing you see this this is set to contact so we're just gonna remove this I'm gonna add phone right here so search up phone add this right here and yeah that's all you guys can get started set it up customize it to your needs it's really customizable it's really nice and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions concerns comments leave it in the leave it in the comments if you guys uh, like this video give it a like